Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Bantamweight Division title. So here's the number one Bantamweight contender making his way to the octagon. Got to be some nerves here as he gets set to compete for the UFC Bantamweight title. No denying he deserves to be there. He's got the requisite win streak. He's got the finishes. He's got the popularity, the fan support. Now he needs the championship performance. We'll see if he has what it takes to unseat the incumbent. All right, so here he is, the consensus number one Bantamweight in the world, the UFC's reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Bantamweight champion, and he's looking to make the walk out of the octagon with all of those same titles. He wants to be mentioned with some of this division's greats, all-time types. Gotta win this fight tonight, make good on another title defense, and then his name creeps into that conversation. All right, with that backdrop, here is the tale of the tape for this Bantamweight Championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting! Out of the blue corner! This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 8 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Marlon Chico Barra! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner! This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Sugar Shaw. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready? Ready? Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed.
lands flush with that right hand. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. O'Malley gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his chin into his opponent. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Nice punch by Sean O'Malley. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, huge kick. Right hand on point. Oh, big head kick. Big shot lands. Just misses with a left hook there. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, big left. Beautiful strike. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, that's a good right hand. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by O'Malley. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Sean O'Malley. You got to check these low leg kicks. Misses with the right hand. Let's go. Keep pushing forward. Beautiful punch. Let's recompose. Let's get going now. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Connects now with the one-two. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Nice leg kick. He missed with that jab attempt there. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Nice sneaky head kick. Ten seconds now in round one. That's a big strike right there. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. First five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. 
Let's see who really just takes control as we go into the second round. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big body kick. Nice punch land. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Look at the turnover in that kick. by Sean O'Malley. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Nice strike. <laughs> Oh, straight right. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Just over three minutes to go. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice kick. And then he lands a nice elbow. Straight right hand now, just misses. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. All right, let's go. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, nice jab. Beautiful kick. Oh, nice. Beautiful body kick. Oh, big head kick there. Oh! Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eight. And he continues to work the body here, timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, good job defensively to block the strike there by Sean O'Malley. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. That one's not in. Nice strike. Oh! Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Ooh, what a punch. Final seconds here. And that's the end of round number two. 
All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. O'Malley gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. He blocks the punch. Just misses with that one. It's such a fast leg kick. Still nice body kick there. Looping left hand misses the target. Hands high, hands high. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Straight punch lands. Oh, yeah, right hand. There's no give on that leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Whiffs on that offering. Lands the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. A nice sequence there by O'Malley. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Sean O'Malley. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Right under the elbow, the body keep landing. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Throwing that jab, no good. All right, single collar tie now. Now he's got the Muay Thai plunk. Big leg kick lands. Well, missed on that one. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Leg kick. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Big leg kick lands. Visibly limping here. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Big kick lands. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Just misses with the jab. Let me see that hook now. Slips the punch nicely there. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. O'Malley's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Oh, big elbow. 
Look at the investment that this young man is making to the body with those strikes. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Big punch land. Ooh. Just misses with the jab there. done offensively, but defense still an issue. And as such, the cut on his lip is only getting worse. Oh, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is under. Night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself if you need anything for 10 minutes. Well, just as he did the Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. What a body kick. Big kick lands. O'Malley's inner thigh, a deep shade of purple at this point. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Real quick leg kick. Nice body kick. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's leading the dance. Head kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Straight left hand. Good punch land. Punch is blocked. Oh, nice. Beautiful leg kick throw. Nice one, two there. Left hook to the head. Oh, big round. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Oh. He's, hurt. he's hurt bad. The right hand just misses. <laughs> nice loop of punch. Oh, nice right hand. Limp there, his leg hurting for certain. 90 seconds now to go in this one. Right hand upstairs. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Wow! Wow! What a performance! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and 
for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano is called to stop for this contest at three minutes, 38 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Sugar. So he came into this fight as the unquestioned best 135 pound fighter in the world, and nothing about that effort will change that narrative. Congrats to the still UFC Bantamweight champ. Congratulations to the Bantamweight champion of the world, a top notch fighter who has all the skill you need to reign atop this division for a real long time.